Good afternoon guys, thanks for coming along. Today you have joined me in the middle of Savanac Forest. Uh, today's video is going to be a bit of a different one. Um, I say a different one. It's going to be, uh, there's going to be a particular theme to it. Just to explain, I think I have a video which, or a little clip which I can play for you right now. Hey guys, it's Rachel. I would like to invite you to a special collaboration video that I am making. I would like to see where you get opportunities to take photos and videos in your local area of the world. I love to travel and I don't get all the opportunity that I would like to go different places. So I'm inviting you to invite me over to your place. <laughs> so uh, yeah, February 8th, 2020 is the big meetup. If, uh, if you could go out on that day and take some photos or videos in your local area and, uh, and share them with me and I'm going to be sharing them with, uh, with people on my YouTube channel. If February 8th doesn't work for you, then you're not off the hook. Then you have all of the month of February to, uh, to do this because I would really, really like to visit. Okay guys, thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So, the idea is to have a wander around and see if I can find something that I think represents this day, this week, this month in time which is going to be an awkward one. It's going to be hard. Um, I've struggled. I'll be honest, I've struggled. I couldn't think of where to go, what to do. Um, and I'm still not 100% sure. I will have a wander around, see if I can find something. I'll, uh, what I'll probably do, I won't leave it just to one image, but I will pick the one that is going to be the image for the uh, the collaboration but I will post a few other images up on on screen just so that it's not a boring video for you so uh, yeah right let's have a wonder <laughs> Okay, so I've had a massive walk around and uh, honestly I'm struggling to find something I can make sense of, something that looks okay as well. Um, but what I've found is a load of silver birch. Um, there, I, I've been looking for silver birch around where I live for a really long time and I've not come across a massive patch of them like this. Um, so what I'm trying to do is make something of this. So along by where the, the path is, there are a couple of silver birch and they're in like a, almost like a, a curved shape. And what I'm trying to do is get these two framing three behind. And it's looking okay, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's not the best shot in the world. Um, but the idea is there. Um, and I think if it was a misty morning, it would probably cut out a lot of the distraction that, uh, that I'm struggling to at the moment. So the problem is, is they seem to be felling a lot of stuff around here as well. So uh, there's, there's branches and trees laying everywhere, so it's a bit, bit of a pain. Um, that's, that's just making a lot of clutter, which is... A little frustrating uh, makes it difficult to do something but I'll um, I'll have a little wander around here just take a few more shots and see if I can get something else um, but this one I think is uh, it's, it's a good start um, yeah hopefully I'll be able to find something else <laughs> otherwise I'm not going to have hit the brief and uh, yeah I'm gonna have a mediocre or mediocre shot to boot so, um, yeah, let's see if I can find something else. I've not gone far. 
still looking at these birch and what I've done is uh, I've actually come round over to where I was shooting and looking back the other direction now um, but what I'm doing is there are a couple of these silver birch that are sort of bowing in opposite directions and what I'm trying to do is get this one silver birch in between these two um, again it's it's not a mind-blowing image um, but it, it looks all right it looks quite nice if I can get the right conditions uh, it's probably gonna look a load better but um, at the moment I've uh, there's no light there's no nothing it's just overcast so I'm just making the best of what I can what I'll do is I'll chuck it up on screen and let me know what you think uh, one thing I probably should mention is that because these trees are quite away from each other or at least the the one at the back is um, I'm having to stack these so I'm focusing on each of the trees just to make sure that I've got all of them in focus and then what I'll do is I'll stack them in uh, Lightroom or Photoshop afterwards um, so I've got that shot hopefully that comes out okay and uh, time to move on and find something else I think Tell you what, got to hand it to all the people who do woodland photography on a regular basis. Uh, it's not easy, not in the slightest. Um, ooh, that's interesting. Oh, look at this. Yeah, as I was saying, I've got to hand it to the people that do this on a regular basis. Um, woodland photography is an absolute nightmare. I don't know how people do it. It's um, easier said than done. It's just, unless I'm in the wrong woods, unless there's other woods that are a lot easier to do this in. Um, but it's, I, I just find it difficult looking for something that makes sense, that to me makes sense, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I'm struggling, really struggling. This might be a, a nice thing to do if I can find a composition for it. Okay, so that hasn't really worked out. Uh, there's too much sky, too much clutter, so it doesn't look very good. Um, yeah, just trying to, I'm struggling. Let me know in the comments below. Anyone who does photography, or anyone watching, do you struggle with woodland photography? Um, if you do, you're not the only one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to call it a defeat. Um, I am not having any luck finding anything that is particularly interesting or that I would consider fits the brief that, to the collaboration. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's... Uh, probably the wrong subject, maybe. Uh, next time, maybe try and do something different, but... Uh, for this, it was, yeah, particularly awkward. Uh, like I said before, hats off to all those people that do woodland photography far far better than I am at it. It's uh, not easy. Um, this is probably going to be a relatively short video um, but I managed to get some images. Uh, I've got to try and try not to think of it as a, a defeat but going out finding images and finding new places that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's not easy, but anyway, the, uh, 
as I mentioned before, the, uh, the brief for the collaboration was on this day, or in my case, on this month. And uh, I think on this month, on this day, uh, I was defeated by woodland photography. <laughs> um, yeah, bit of a bummer, but hey, maybe next time. Right, so in the meantime, I am going to wander back to the car. Uh, hope you all have a lovely time. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to comment down below. And yeah, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, what I'll do is for all the other guys that are taking part, I will drop all their details below. And uh, yeah, go check them out because they're all really good photographers. Um, they've all got their own YouTube channels. So yeah, uh, go check them out. Tell them I said hi. All right, in the meantime, walk back to the car. Right, catch you later.